To Kristen, also developing tonight, live pictures here from Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, where protesters are out for yet another night, the fourth night following the shooting death of Dante Wright. A curfew has taken place just four minutes ago, but it comes just hours after the former police officer who fired that deadly shot was officially charged. Louis is joining us live now from our newsroom with the details on this one. Louis. Well, I can update you that Kim Potter, a 26 year veteran, is now out on bond tonight after being charged with second degree manslaughter. Tonight, the now former officer who killed Dante Wright charged with second degree manslaughter days after this traffic stop encounter. I just shot him. According to the Washington County Attorney's Office, Kim Potter fired one round into Wright's left side with her Glock 9mm handgun after yelling taser. You can see a yellow taser on her belt in this photo. Today, the Wright family's lawyer questioning how Potter, a Brooklyn Center police veteran, could have possibly mixed up the two. At what point did you not feel that this was a gun in your hand versus a taser? And so the family, obviously, they are glad she got charged. Authorities say Potter was actually training another officer Sunday when Wright was pulled over for an expired tag. As they tried to arrest the unarmed 20-year-old for an outstanding warrant, a struggle broke out. Moments later, Potter firing that fatal shot. She resigned along with the police chief. For a third night, protesters taking to the streets, outrage over the killing of the young father. An arrest is just step one. We all had arrests and anybody could be arrested, mm -hmm. but we have to get a conviction. Potter is set to appear in court tomorrow afternoon. If convicted, Potter could face up to 10 years in prison.